Hello everybody, this is Dr. Mesa, board certified plastic surgeon in New York, New Jersey, Miami. Today it's time to do cases on the local anesthesia. Today we're going to have a mix of cases. We're going to be doing, of course, book of a removal. We're going to be doing chin liposuction. We're going to do in face tight, neck tight, Morpheus, everything on the face on the local anesthesia. Watch the videos. Bye-bye. Okay, my first case is a lovely lady that has a double chin, but she is more older than 35 years old, so she has a little bit of skin laxity. So, as always, I'm gonna be doing chin liposuction with the skin tightening. In this case, I'm gonna be using the necktie and Morpheus A to give it like a really skin tightening, and then I'm gonna do the extended chin lipo. But something interesting, this lady has a dorsal hump that is like, like it's called the buffalo hump. It's like a little um, accumulation of fat here in the upper back that she doesn't like, especially when she's wearing like a two-piece bedding suit because it looks like a little hump right there. So on here, I'm gonna do also the um, uh, liposuction of the upper portion of the back. Everything is gonna be under local anesthesia. First, I'm gonna be doing the, um, the back and then I'm gonna be doing the chin lipo with the skin tightening. So let's watch the videos. Yeah, we'd say it was going to be kind of like here. Little pinch. You had any pain when I was doing the tightening with the neck tie or the mm. chin liposuction? Mm -mm. Okay, so the next case is a standard extended chin liposuction. She is in her 20s, so anybody that is in the 20s and they have amazing skin elasticity, so when I do the extended chin liposuction, that skin shrinks. So the magic kind of number is below 35. But if you are 35 of above, or you have put skin elasticity, then you need to add a skin tightening, and the one of choice in my case is neck tight. 